Now to West Asia, where the conflict has intensified as Israel faces off against Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Hamas in Gaza. The U.S.'s mediators are reportedly pursuing a 60-day ceasefire to de-escalate tensions in Lebanon. Here's a closer look at the latest developments and diplomatic efforts in the region. The conflict in West Asia has sharply escalated in recent weeks, with Israel engaged in active battles against Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza. U.S. mediators are reportedly working on a 60-day ceasefire proposal to de-escalate tensions between the Israeli army and Lebanese armed group Hezbollah in West Asia. Reports suggest two months of truce will be used to finalize the full implementation of United Nations Security Council Resolution 1701 to keep southern Lebanon free of non-state armed forces. This comes as the Israeli military continues expanding ground operations in Lebanon with the IDF issuing an evacuation notice for the city of Baalbek amid intensified targeting of Hezbollah strongholds. Amid the escalating violence, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield emphasized the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The United States has made clear to Prime Minister Netanyahu that one year into this conflict, Israel must address the catastrophic humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The conflict between the Israeli army and Hamas also goes on in Gaza. The IDF confirmed that four of its soldiers were killed in combat in northern Gaza, bringing the total number of Israeli soldiers killed since October 2023 to 776. The U.S. voiced concerns about civilian casualties after an Israeli strike on a residential building in northern Gaza. We are deeply concerned by the loss of civilian life in this incident. We have reached out to the government of Israel to ask what happened here, and Israel has decimated Hamas's military ca capabilities. And all of that, getting to here, came at great cost to civilians in Gaza, which is, of course, often the case when civilians are caught in the crossfire in conflict. And it is a, another reminder of why we need to see an end to this war. On another front, Iranian Defense Minister Aziz Nazir Zadeh claimed on Wednesday that Iran's missile production has not been impacted by Israeli airstrikes that took place on October 26. Meanwhile, Israel's chief of staff, Herzi Halevi, issued a stern warning to Iran, stating that any future missile attacks on Israel would result in a severe response targeting specific sites within Iran. If Iran makes the mistake of launching another missile barrage at Israel, we will once again know how to reach Iran with capabilities that we did not even use this time and strike very, very hard at both their capabilities and locations that we set aside for now. As the conflict continues to surge, all eyes are on the diplomatic efforts to defuse hostilities and bring stability in West Asia. Bureau Report, DD India.